Hello and welcome to Max9 tutorial number two. Set up and get to know Max9. Well, with the introduction of Max9, we have lots of new tools and great improvements. And um, certainly for the purposes of this class and maybe for your own purposes in general, I would like to make some minor changes to um, Max9. And I think you'll see why, because this is an online class and I'm trying to show you things. Um, here, we'll just pull up this little window that I was working with the other day. And I realized that I can not really see anything on it. It's a terrible thing. Um, but um, I was uh, showing these objects here and I said, you know, this isn't gonna make any sense to anybody. So um, for this class, I would like to um, change just the default view in Max. So you can go over here to Max Preferences and go ahead and click on that. And you get this Preference pane, which I'm just going to point out right now. You know, you're kind of like, oh, can I even see the difference between my patcher that I'm working on, this other patcher that I'm working on, and this thing here? And in my mind, no, you can't really. So let's just d deal with it once and for all, and let's uh, do something else. So come on down here, uh, scroll down to color theme, and here it is on default. If you like this color theme and you like working in the pitch dark, um, you, you don't like light, you're a vampire, whatever you are, it's fine. Just for this class, we're not going to use the default. We are going to go to dark over light, which will remind you of older versions of Max. And I think you can see, although the preference pane doesn't change that much, you can now see that over here, it's a very, very different world. Okay, I'm just gonna click um, back to default so you can see the difference. Here's your um, patcher with dark over light, and here's your patcher with default. Um, this may be nice to work with on your own, but for instructional purposes, it's just really difficult. So if you would, be so kind for this class, we are going to use dark over light and we are going to enter into the light. And that is um, pretty much it. I think for the preferences, um, you may want to know where the preferences are. They're easy to find on a Macintosh. You just click command and comma, or you can just go up here and click on Max and go to preferences. And you'll notice right over here, it says command and comma. Now, I have mentioned before that I do not own a PC. So when I'm telling people with PCs like what to do about this and that, I'm sometimes not accurate. I'll be the first one to admit it. So when you want to use your shortcut keys in Macs, just for example, down here we have the unlock and lock key. We use this what, uh, just 500 times a day, right? And you can do this and that unlocks it and puts it, puts it in patching mode. It's in patching mode now. Now it's in run mode, right? Or you can just um, hold your command key down and click over here and it does the same thing. Or you can come up here to view and say, edit view. And you'll notice over here, it says command E, right? Well, all of you with PCs right now, right now, go up and click on view and come down to edit and see what on earth it says here. I believe it probably says control E, but I don't know that for a fact. I do not own a PC. It's probably control E, but this gives you a hint on how to do all these shortcut keys that, um, for, for just uh, working within Max. It's important stuff, you'd be surprised. Um, we switch into and out of presentation a lot, which on a Macintosh is option or alternate control, uh, excuse me, command E. On a PC, I believe this is alternate control E, 
but again, I don't know, and it's like impossible to look up. You just have to look on your own computer. But Max is very good about including all the clues inside it for how to get things. So you need an inspector window? Hey, look, just uh, shift command I. Or, um, you know, come on over here and just click on this I over here. Same thing, there's your inspector window. Um, uh, I, and see, it's just so easy. There you go. So um, here we are with our new um, background, and that is really what I wanted to show you today, along with one other trick that I'm going to show you in the next video anyway, which is when you have an unlocked patcher. Hey, let's all unlock our patcher, patchers. For me, that's Command-E. I'm unlocking it, right? One of the things that I will show you in the next um, video is like shortcuts, like you type C to get a comment box, type M to get a message box, type N to get a new object. We'll go over this again. I'm not trying to bore you, but sometimes repetition helps. But there is one that's kind of a, a secret that not many people know, which is you just type the letter X um, in your unlocked patcher and Take a look at this. These are all the keys you can just type by themselves in your patcher to get certain objects, like an a uh which is an attributes box, a button, comment, see? Type a C for a comment, same as it says up there. E, a new B patcher, heck, I didn't know that. F, float number, I knew that. Um, I have no idea what this small and large thing is. I for an integer number box, J for a jitter object, L, blah, 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 message box. That's what it says up there. So you can type all of these things by typing the secret command, which is grayed out here, which is just X, which will give you the shortcut menu. And, heaven forbid, they are different on a PC than on a Mac. Um, again, I don't have any way to know that. So that's it. Shortcuts and a better default viewing. Um, yours for the taking, but from now on in this class, we're gonna use this default view. If you don't change it, your work is going to look a lot different than everybody else's. So that's it for me today, and um, I will catch you in the very next video. Thank you for watching, I'll see you soon.